Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play the Mass Effect trilogy. We're going to be continuing on with Mass Effect 2, and I'm going to be played as Obama Shepard. Can't really see, it's so damn dark. Ah! Anyway, uh, in the last episode we got Morden, so now I can use this research uh, terminal to upgrade. I guess I'll do assault rifle damage. Why the hell not? Let's see what else we have. Heavy weapon. Why the hell not? Let's see anything else. Armor? Metagel capacity. Uh, sure, for now. But, and I'm going to save some of my uh, early materials so I can get some better stuff. The main one I like the most, especially for everyone really, honestly, is just the shields upgrade. That's so important to me. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died in Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Alright, so that's the first conversation with Morden. He is awesome. So, I mean, it's just the way it is. Let's talk to Kelly real quick. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll all be right. here if you... Commander, you've received a so new... So now, we can go and recruit Mr. Ark. Angel. So that should be fun. This is one of the, actually to be quite honest, for all the recruitment missions, this is probably one of the longest ones. And it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's hard, but it, it can be somewhat challenging uh, because early game you don't really have much and there's a lot thrown at you in this mission. That's for sure. It's uh, quite a bit of enemies and such, so let's take Morden and Miranda. Love them too. And I think I have to level up more than here. I don't know if I have a level. Hopefully I do. No, apparently I don't. Okay, so with him, get that incinerate up. And get that up a little bit. And let's see what kind of weapons they have. Looks like everything's good. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have... I'm on the mission. 
I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Alright, so now we can start this mission. You just gotta talk to this mercenary guy. And he'll take me to where we need to go. Who We are pretending to be some freelance mercs right now so that we can infiltrate... Um, this place it's kind of a brilliant this is such a brilliant mission honestly I always loved it because I don't know it's just hilarious um, I'll explain it in a sec why it's so awesome but let's go ahead and repick our people which is always dope I think I have to redo everything too yep <laughs> wow it's like I just did this skip that I tell you what we're up against the recruiter was a little vague we wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy, so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds a bit like a suicide mission. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Alright. So what's so awesome about this mission that makes it almost brilliant the area, is the fact that pretty much the way it works is that we're, we're pretending to be mercs so that we can betray the mercs and rescue Archangel chances. where they think that we're trying to kill Archangel. Here's a little message for Arya we can give her later. Now we can talk to um, in, each of these uh, mercenary leaders. The I guess I'll talk to them a they... little bit. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. I'll get going. Good idea. That's the leader of the Eclipse. Um, I always thought that was probably one of the best conversations out of all the mercs, just because Archangel killed his brother, and it's pretty damn personal. Now, right here, we can actually make our lives a little bit easier by... First, let's hack this. Okay, and we can get some money. I always want that money. Um, uh, come on, this is how this thing goes. There we go. Now I just gotta find one more. There it is. I see it. All right. Now we can hack this mech. There's a mech in here that will be used in the battle. So make sure not to mess this up. You have plenty of time if you ever do this part. It's so freaking easy. But uh, yeah, you just don't want to mess it up because you want this mech to be hacked. It really does help you out a lot. That should slow him down. Perfect. The 
Alright, so we come in here. This is where the blood pack is. Now, the main thing about this is that if you ask these guys about their mercenary group, like the blood pack, Eclipse, and Blue Suns, You're in the you get codexes. Place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Alright, so I'm just gonna ask him about the blood pack. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. I should get going. About time. Alright, so that guy has actually, that Krogan has actually already fought um, Archangel, Archangel before. That's what he says. And uh, later on we get to find out a little bit more about that as well. But, yeah, he's a, he's kind of a beast. Like, to be honest, that guy's kind of a beast. Like, he has a... He's a... There's, like, different weapon classes. Actually, you can grab this behind the door, but... Just a minor glitch. Now, you want to also get through here. Now, doors like this, if they don't have, like, a timer on them, uh, that means that you can actually have multiple... Uh, you have multiple attempts to um, open the... Like, you know, open it. Like a door, for example. So, if you mess up, it really doesn't matter. Now, this is important, this is though, because you get the... Submachine gun damage that's really useful for your allies, especially if you're going to use ones with submachine guns like Thane, Miranda, and Morden. Those are probably the top three right there who use submachine guns. Primarily, Thane uses you can have him use a sniper, but I like them, him to also use the submachine gun from time to time. Now, if you come in here, we talk to the leader of this. Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. I just have a few questions about the operation. Gentle, get this scum out of my face. Over here. The next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of you freelancers. Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates having to bring in outsiders. What do you want to know? Just ask him about, I guess, Blue Suns. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. We better get going. Good idea. All right. Make sure so now that we're done with that, now one thing I wanted to bring up, I just remembered. It's very important. You guys should go on my Facebook and you should like my Facebook. That would be awesome. But I'm going to start doing certain polls for a series on the Facebook now. And I've already done two, which is you guys can vote and decide should I be Renegade or, or uh, Paragon or, well, not R, but also who should I romance in the game. So obviously I see a lot of comments saying things like, uh, oh, you should uh, romance Tally or you should romance Miranda. Well, it'd be a lot easier if I, if you guys just go on the Facebook and vote on the poll, and I'll go off of that. So, after this episode, I'm going to start doing that. Like, for example, whatever the Renegade and Paragon is up to at that point, I will start being bad or whatever, or good. So, we'll just see. Same with the Romance. I'll have that information from the poll. So, definitely go on my Facebook and like it and vote on those polls if you want to be a little bit more interactive. Now, over here, this is important. I think we have to talk to this guy, actually. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance.
Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. I think that's all I'll ask him. Now one thing that's really interesting to me is all the people who smoke in this game. It, 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 I don't know, I, I couldn't ever figure that out, but there's a lot of moments of just people smoking. Um, it's, it kind of reminds me of like back in the day like with the like with movies and stuff how they used to like tobacco companies would pay like uh you know different movie production companies to make sure that actors would be smoking in the movie to appeal to people to smoke i always felt like something was fishy going on here because there's just so much smoking in this game especially from the elusive man with the elusive man though it's so cool because like they really do that excellent job of making him like look like a very powerful man i mean that's what power kind of you know that's like the idea of like if you are rich and powerful you are smoking a cigarette and drinking scotch the entire time and that's every time you talk to him he's pretty much drinking scotch or he has a bottle a, a cup of scotch in his hand and he's smoking a cigarette so i always thought that was cool but it just seemed like there's so much smoking in this game and it's just it's kind of mind-blowing but all right let's go ahead and ask him are you leading the assault ha <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. I absolutely love this. This is probably one of my favorite Renegade options in the entire game. <laughs> You're working too hard. Now one thing I will say real quick is uh, every Renegade option that pops up... Time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Every Renegade option that pops up like that, I probably will take it anyway, no matter what you guys vote on, because, to be quite honest, there's no point not to. Um, we'll give these guys a surprise that's the way I feel about it, because I don't, Enemies it's like fun. if you choose not to take the Renegade option, for example, I don't really think it, like, affects anything. It doesn't, like, make it so, uh, you, uh, you know, gain good points or anything all of a sudden. It, it just doesn't do shit for you, so there's really no point. That guy should burn to death. Charge this fool, blow him away. Now there's uh, an upgrade over here as well, a tech damage, which is always important. And we can run up here and take out these guys at this door. The melee, I mean look at the melee, man. Ooh, ooh. Melees are so good in this game. Alright, so now we get to confront Archangel for the first Archangel. time. Shepard, I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. 
That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these All right, it's time to kick some motherfucking ass. Oh. Now, there's a gun right here. I recommend not grabbing it. Um, it. Actually, I guess it really doesn't matter because no one's using an assault rifle right now. So, but normally, I don't actually grab that because any weapon that is in a mission, you don't actually have to grab it at all. Like you can get, you'll get the weapon at the end of the mission. Like you cannot miss it. So, Be right there. now the important thing, I like to come down base. here right away so that I can start calling my teammates so they follow me down here. Um, Otherwise, they're pretty freaking stupid uh, about it. Excuse me. Right. Impact, impact, impact. Get that melee in. And the charge. That should kill him. Eclipse marks. No, you're not. Alright, so now we can kick some fucking ass. So. Now, this is what I like to do when I play as a Vanguard is spawn camp. <laughs> Can't it's a little about. risky because uh, you can't. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's really fucking risky right there. So let me back up a list a tad. Um, the main reason why it, it can be definitely risky is because like your charge won't charge certain enemies at certain points or whatever. But if you can get it off, then uh, you're fine. But like I said, sometimes, and you can actually spawn camp them as they come over the thing. It's kind of hilarious. Can't target them. Let's see, I should be able to charge this guy. Put his ass down. One down. Open the cover real Can't quick. Get a lock. Should be able to get a charge off, yeah. <clears throat> Gotta make sure they can actually for some reason fucking hit you before they even get over. Yep. It's definitely risky, but it's worth it because it's it's hilarious. Um <laughs> you kill the enemy so Can't fucking fast. Gotta make sure I don't get fucked up. I'll take the damn cover. Come on, give me the charge. All right, now I'm gonna move back a little bit. Just get my health back. I'm almost out of ammo too, so I need to try to get some. There should be plenty of ammo everywhere. There we go. Just get the ammo. <sighs> Fucking rocket launchers. I mean, they just funnel through here so fucking much. It's absolutely crazy. Come on, give me a charge. There we go. Almost feels like Mass Effect Free Spawn Camping. You can also knock them off the cliff, which is always funny. Go ahead and use the power here. I'll grab the ammo too, because this is about to be a cutscene. So at this point, uh, they make a big mistake. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. And yeah, they send in this heavy mech, Go. which is hacked. So this is just gonna help me out now. Um, but this thing does not stay hacked forever. Sending out it really mess. doesn't, so you gotta keep that in mind. Problem should take care uh, it's kind of a good idea to let it do some damage to the enemies and then take it out. 
Like that's what I like to do. I try to take it out like after a while. It will it will sit here and just kill most of these enemies for me. But it will also turn on you eventually, and if you're not ready for that when it turns on you, yeah, you're going to get absolutely wrecked. So like I said, just let it do a little bit of the job for you. It's basically just like an atlas, that's the best way to think of it. It's actually, in fact, it's exactly like an atlas. Go ahead and... Oh, you've already been incinerated. At this point, I might take it out here soon. Gotta keep fighting. Go ahead and switch to the pistol. Now... Certain weapons do more damage against armor, like pistols do more damage against armor, shotguns do more damage against shields, and SMGs and assault rifles as well. They do more damage against shields and such. They should take out the mech here any second. Alright. <clears throat> Did not mean to switch to my thing there, um, my heavy weapon. Now we can go back to spawn killing ourselves, and don't, we don't have to worry about that stupid uh, mech killing us by some random reason. Can't talk to him, Mr. Oh, God, charge already, fucker. I hate that shit. Right. You did. And that is it. So that is the bridge. Um, at this point, we can go up top. Come find me before they regroup. Now we're gonna have to do the second part. Now the second part, I fucking hate. Um, it's absolutely the probably the worst fucking part. But in general, it's whatever. All right, so let's go over and talk to Mr. Garris. He'll give us a little, like, status updates, or tell us a little bit about the mercs if we want to know. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge All right, clear. so right here, you have the option to leave someone with him. I don't really think it matters much. I don't even know if you get any good or bad points, uh, but it, they can't help him stay alive We're longer, but it doesn't Go really... It's going to make it harder Basically for me, so... The west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Alright, so because it's going to make it harder for me, like, I'd just rather just take my squad with me. Especially these two, because we're going to have to deal with some, uh, Vorcha Pyros coming up here. And yeah, they're always a fucking bitch, so it's nice to have the Incinerate to, uh, Incinerate as well, just like Overload will instantly blow them up. So that is awesome. So, we got to run down here and just immediately hit this door. You don't have to worry about anything with this first door, it does not matter. The enemies will never make it through. So I normally just stand here and wait for it to go. They will not make it through there. Let's see. Alright, so now we can go on through here. Now this <clears throat> this part with the I kinda hate this part honestly. Uh <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> oh god, it's a bitch. Fucking I just the Vorcha are just fucking annoying as hell. The main problem here is this fucker. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, I might have got here in time. But if you get here in time, you don't have to deal with this fucking pyro. There's a pyro standing right there, and every time you turn the corner, he will absolutely decimate you, so you have to watch out for that. Alright. Go ahead and just do that real quick. 
that should delay them long enough so I can just start making back. I mean, in fact, I'm pretty sure they can now, they also can normally not make it through that shutter in time for it to be closed. The only one that they can normally make it through is this very last one coming up. This one's a bitch, so. But what I like to do for this part is actually use this arc projectile once again. There's not too many yet. Alright. So, once we get through here, take some of these bastards out. Just kind of rush through this bitch. Um, start to close this thing. Get my shield back. You just gotta make sure that they don't make it through there. Right, that was probably a waste, honestly. But once that timer goes down, we are good to go. Cutscene time. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the doors. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. We're compromised. All right, so go ahead and use this a little bit. I like to just heavy weapon these we fuckers. Honestly, charge this bastard. He has high uh, health regeneration. Just melee your ass to death. Can I charge? Please let me charge. There we go. Oh. I should kill him. And this is, looks like it's about it for the blood pack. So now we should be able to talk to Garrus. Fuck is Garrus? Maybe I didn't kill them all. Wow, he like magically appeared out of thin air practically, okay. Or maybe I just missed him, I don't know. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. Still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but... I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on and... Look out! Alright, so Damn we need to chill for a second. They're gonna drop in some enemies, complete, so... The best sure thing to do is actually probably get it close a little bit. And start shooting them a little... You know, shoot them up just a tad. And also, we can overload and incinerate. And oh, I didn't want to charge that one. Take that cover. This might knock. Yeah, see, that's what you do right there. You knock them out the window. Fucks them up. Biatch! Alright. So now they're going to come in from down here. So we can just chill yeah, and wait the for him and then charge on down and fuck him up. Biatch! This is like the best. Uh, oh, I can't fucking aim right. This is like the best uh thing to do. It's just to fuck him up as they come through the windows, but I'm fucking it up real bad. I mean, they're gonna just keep coming through these windows, and you could just keep knocking them out. <laughs> so, anymore? Hey, what the hell? Why did you come through like that? Nicely. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Did not realize that. All right. So here's another cutscene. Garrus. Poor Garrus. He's dead. Oh no. 
Alright, so now we gotta take out this fucking stupid thing. Uh, use our powers, or their powers on it, really. Probably best to use the pistol on this, because, like I said, they do a lot more extra damage. In fact, I'm just gonna switch the pistol now, and try to take it out before it drops off. Ah, oh, just fucked it up. Can't target. You are going out of the window. You are going out of the window. Goodbye. Alright. Now we can back up and wait for the ship to come back. One more inc <laughs> incineration to take it out. Goodbye. <laughs> Game over. I hope Garrus is okay, man. Let's go get him. Arrow to the knee, huh? <laughs> Garrus is such a badass, he took a rocket to the face. Ho! Oh. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's in bad shape. We need to get him out of here. Poor Garrus. But yeah, they really give you that uh, moment of like, oh my god. Is Garrus dead? Oh no! Just like it's like they troll you twice, like they make you think Shepard dies for real, and then they make you think Garrus dies. You're like, oh man, feel pretty sad about it, honestly. And then in Mass Effect 3, they actually kill most of these people, besides, well, not Garrus, but they kill a lot of people. So, and then it actually is sad. But all right, so now we just gotta wait for this cutscene. And then I will end this episode. I know these are really long, guys, but that's all that damn dialogue, I'm telling you. Like 37 minutes, 8 minutes, it's gonna be crazy, man. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Alrighty, so... That will end this episode, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Please give me a like. Please give me a favorite. And I will see you guys next time.